Hello whiskey fans, it's only time for another dram. December the 19th, very few doors left now. So if we're going to have any one challenge the places on the, the top of the leaderboard now, this is the time for them to do it. On the plus side, it should make it a little bit easier for me to find the door now, because there's only six left. Still ripping them in half though. <laughs> I am using my English Whiskey Company glass today. My English Whiskey Company Glen Cairn with St George and the Dragon on it. I don't think they use that logo anymore. This is a pretty old glass. But I'm sure that it will do perfectly well as a vessel for holding whiskey. Label away. Silly hat, clean glass, break the seal, that didn't break, there we go, and let's try not to make a mess. Right, what have we got today? Can't smell anything yet. Medium gold. Looks like it might be natural, maybe. Hard to tell. Hmm. So, to start with, on the first sniff, got lots of reasonably bright, fruity spiritiness. But on subsequent sniffs, getting quite a lot of nutty, oily, sort of trademark old malt notes. So I think this is probably another pretty old one. Also getting some sweet, creamy, creme brulee, honey, caramel notes on the nose. I don't think this is a peated whiskey. I'm not getting any smoke or any phenols or anything like that at the moment. Also not getting a huge amount of, of your sherry. So far, it seems pretty traditional, quite old, and very well made. There is a little bit of a dry, salty edge to this whiskey on the nose. I'm also wondering if there might be... I'm smelling something that's a little bit spicy, maybe a little bit of wood spice. Maybe it reminds me a little bit of the the darkness release from last year's I think yeah, it's darkness eight year old from last year's advent calendar. I can't remember what it was, but it was finished in some sort of octave cask, very small casks, I think that imparted a real spiciness to the whiskey, but in a good way. That's really that's a tough one. I think as I know that I'm getting more of an orangey aroma on the nose of this one. I think the the flavours from the cask are coming out the more time this spins in the glass. I think to start with, I would have been tempted to say that this is probably a predominantly bourbon matured whiskey there's just a lot of sweetness it is all about the mole a little bit of the spiritiness all very well made but as time goes on i'm getting more notes which are probably more sherry matured but there's always a strong maltiness to this one i think this is going to be something a bit more unusual I think this may not be a traditional single malt. I don't think it's a world whiskey because it smells quite old. I, world whiskey tends not to have that profile. I think this is more likely to be something old from Scotland. Let's see how it tastes. Very strange. 
to start with, there was a big juicy, there was a big burst of sour, juicy fruitiness. Quite a sort of lemon and lime, predominantly lemon, but that faded quite quickly and went into something much more subdued. And quite youthful towards the end of the palette. This definitely smells like it's older than it tastes, which is really weird because normally when a whiskey has more aromas or a better, more intense nose than the palate, it means it's usually a sign that the ABV is low. Because a lot of low ABV whiskies, they work better on the nose than they do on the palate. But this isn't a low ABV. I would say that this is at least 46%. Which makes me wonder if this is cask finished in some way. And I'm only saying that because it, it works really well on the nose. It works well on the palate on the arrival. But it dies off quite quickly. And the finish is very short. I wouldn't be surprised if this is another darkness released where it's matured in very small sherry octaves or something like that. It's not red wine, possibly virgin oak, but I think very small casks, a very small cask finish on possibly quite an old whiskey, although I've been caught out with that before. I think it was the, the English whiskey in this advent calendar where that did trick me. I think that this is possibly not that old a whiskey. It's a very good whiskey that's put into a smaller cask and that gives it a big boost. Getting a really nice nuttiness, sort of peanut and slightly vegetal note on the nose now. Good development. Hmm. I've absolutely no idea what this is. I think it's going to be something a bit unusual. Let's have another sip. Nearly knocked that over there. That would have been a bit of a disaster. <laughs> Very, very good nose, good early palette, tapers off quickly, short finish, a little bit bitter on the finish. I don't think it is <laughs> that darkness octave thing from last year, but I think it's something like that. Let's go for the reveal. Um... Not heard of that one. Whiskey Works, Quartermaster, 11-year-old, blended Scotch whiskey. Okay, so did not see that that was a blend at all. In hindsight, doesn't smell like a blend at all. Not to me. If any of you guys out there guessed that this was a blend, well done. <laughs> it definitely smells like it's finished that this something has been applied to this whiskey. Let's have another sip. Now that we know we've got the hindsight advantage, that we know that this is blended whiskey, 46.4% ABV. So I guessed 46 or maybe slightly higher, which is what it tastes like. Let's have another sip. I've just thought the name of this whiskey is Quartermaster, so quarter casks, maybe? Because it does seem like this has had some sort of small, very active cask finish. 11 years old, credit where credit is due, that does not 
definitely doesn't smell 11 years old. It smells very well matured. But it does taste kind of young and a little bit engineered. But it's a good whiskey. I think this one's going to give me real problems when it comes to deciding where this goes on the leaderboard because this is a really unusual, very well made, very, very untraditional whiskey. Yeah, I think I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of this and struggle to find a place for this on the leaderboard because that's going to be a real tough one. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this and where you rank it amongst the other drams. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Oh, oh, oh.